Hey guys, Justin from yourdino.com here. Uh, so I know many of you guys are spending some time to make a nice looking console, like they have done in this example here. And uh, I've made a little video to show you some of the new features to make life a bit easier for you, so that this is uh, quicker to be done. So first thing I'd like to show you is you can now uh, right click and then you get these options here uh, Save gauge layout and load gauge layout now that may be nice if you have different layouts that you use for different engines or different cars or what well, for whatever reason you have different types of layouts You can click save and then you just uh, it's just a file right you can call it whatever and save it as a file and then uh, you can go and right click again and load and then you can load whatever file uh, you have sa saved before. So that will replace the full uh, layout with whatever you have uh, saved so you can swap between layouts. Okay, so that's nice. Uh, let's look at the le next thing. So here we see six gauges that are all, this, all the same, right? So before, in order to configure them, you had to right click and then do gauge setup and set up all these ranges and colors and uh, and alarms uh, and etc. And now you can select as many gauges as you want by just clicking on them like that, or you can just drag a rectangle and select the gauges you want to edit. You right click and uh, now you're editing all of them at once, right? So let's say we want to change the yellow area, for example, like that. Now you see all of them changed and uh, that works for for all kinds of, of setup parameters that you have here alarms or ranges etc so very nice you can also move if you have selected a number of gauges you move them as a group so that's uh, pretty useful uh, as well as let's say they are a little bit uh, you know an they are set up a little bit uh, randomly like this you can select them and then right click, align gauges, align top. And now they are all uh, aligned at the top there. So that looks nicer. Same goes for if the distance between them is a little bit uh, random, right? You can uh, go here, select them and you go distribute horizontally. Boom, now they are all have the same distance between them, so it, it looks nicer. Let's do another example. So here we have a number of uh, pressure gauges that are all digital. Let's say we want them to be analog. That, as easy as that. And of course, this doesn't really uh, work with that size, but you can change all the sizes all at once, like this, for example. Uh, and... Uh, yeah, so that's pretty simple, simple to do like that. Uh, same is there is a line left if you want a left uh, yeah, a line. Same with distribute vertically. The set that that works the same as you know distribute horizontally and the same as uh, a line top is. Uh, you you understand uh, how how that works here. Pretty nice. Okay, another point uh, is you can now do an, you can now undo. Uh, whatever changes you have done here. So for example, I did a resize now, so you can do an undo that resize and uh, you get a different, uh, you get back to, to where you were. Or let's say you have done, you have clicked here on arrange gauges. So that will give you a very crude layout. And uh, let's do that. Boom, it looks like that. And that's not what you meant, right? You just uh, right click and undo and then you are back to, to where you were. And it, it remembers, uh, you know, all kinds of uh, changes that you did. Uh, now you're back to analog, for example. So it, it has the whole history of, of the changes that you did from when you opened the, the run window. So that's pretty nice. Okay, so a lot of good things there. Okay, a couple of other things while we're at it here. Uh, the first one is there is a new plugin since a couple of versions ago called the brake specific fuel consumption. So some of you guys are using the brake specific fuel consumption and it's possible to create it with a math channel. But if you're not into, you know, equations, it's much easier now to to, to use this uh, plugin. Uh, you can 
just click it on here you call it something and then you have to select the unit the pounds per hour uh, per horsepower is the most uh, common one then you need to select uh, where the fuel flow comes from uh, flow one in this case you can also have you know meter a meter b a plus b a minus c if you have two flow meters and one is plus the other or man one is minus the other um then you select the, the gallons per hour if that's what you got and then you need to enter the uh, the fuel specific gravity and that's all so we just that's how easy you can you know configure uh brake specific fuel consumption um if you have that all right and the other point i wanted to show you is here on the aux channel so uh, in this case we have an uh, oil pressure sensor that's uh, 0 to 150 psi and we have edited you know uh, that 0 0.5 equals 0 psi 4.5 equals 150 psi which is the way to do it now as you can see here it doesn't exactly read zero it reads 0 0.48 49 something right which is uh, still just like 0 0.3 percent inaccurate right of a scale from 0 to 150. so normally it doesn't really matter but it's a bit annoying right so now there is a zero calibrate button here so you're going to click here and that uh, what it does it, it shifts the whole uh, graph a little bit so instead of being zero here it's 0 0.48 and this one is also shifted by the same amount right so now it reads zero so just to make it life a little bit easier for you guys when you are specifying the uh, pressure sensors and other sensors that have a that should read zero okay guys uh, just a quick one today i hope you like it